Northeast Missouri is full of talented individuals who have impacted the sports world, but very few have earned the right to call themselves a Hall of Famer. Every year, 65 individuals who have made an impact on the Show Me State are inducted into the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame. This year, some Heartland legends got the call. KTVO sports reporter Kayla McGee made his way to Columbia to highlight their special day. Countless players, coaches, and teams have competed in the Show Me State, but only a select few earned the right to be inducted into the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame inducted 11 individuals and four teams on Sunday in Columbia as part of the class of 2024. Mizzou legends like sportscaster John Anderson, two-time undefeated national wrestling champion Ben Askren, and former All-American quarterback Chase Daniel headlined the ceremony. Daniel took some time to thank the Show Me State, saying that I will always have a special place in his heart. Every time I come back, it's just the hospitality is second to none. Um, you know, all the coach, coach drink is, is excellent. I, I met with Laird Beach yesterday, just love his vision for the program, where it's headed. Uh, and it just, it, it feels like home when I come out here. It's hard, it's hard for me to explain. But it wasn't just individuals with national notoriety being celebrated, as two Heartland schools were represented. North Shelby alum and longtime softball head coach Angie Reese was one of the Heartland legends to receive the call. The former Raider had 340 wins and two state championships during her 25-year coaching career, leading North and South Shelby while never once suffering a losing season. Reese was quick to give credit to her players, saying that the North Shelby students and parents are well known for their hard work. The work ethic, those kids, uh, those parents knew those kids needed to work hard and they, they expected it. That school is known for a reputation for excellence and I think the parents take that to heart and the kids know that they want to live up to that reputation year after year. One school Reese was quite familiar with during her time was the Putnam County Midgets, who saw their softball teams between 1988 and 2007 inducted in the class of 2024. During that time, the school dominated, winning 20 straight district titles, 12 trips to the Final Four, including a Missouri record seven in a row, and winning three state titles. Players from throughout the years showed up for the ceremony to celebrate and support the two head coaches, Max Mothersbaugh and Mike Schmidley, who they say made it happen. I was actually most excited for the coaches because those two men are incredible and they really, dump, I mean, they sacrificed a lot to give to us um, and then to, to help us to be that successful. Um, I went to college and, you know, they were like, they just watched me hit and swing and they're like, oh, you were one of Max's girls or you played for Mike. The Hall of Fame also highlighted the careers of former Missouri high school and college football players for their Elite 11. This year, four players from the Heartland were highlighted. Putnam County's Ian Gilworth, South Shelby's Aaron O'Loughlin and Ethan Harris, and Marceline's Brad Kavanaugh. These individual teams have achieved a lot during their storied careers, but today shows the most important impact they've had is on the Show Me State. Reporting in Columbia, Kayla McGee, KTVO Sports.